channel. So SXC Cosmetics has sent us over another poly nail gel kit. It's glow in the dark, temperature change, and it has super sparkly uh, poly gels. If you know me, you know pink is my favorite color. So I was excited um, when I found out I was getting this. As you can see, everything is pink and it is so pretty. The instruction manual is pink and it is very, very thorough. The writing is pink, um, pink sparkles. The jewels kind of got me because I thought they were going to be pink, but they're just pink back. But they were still really cute because I didn't end up using them. So all I'm going to do right here is just read over the instruction manual, make sure there's nothing that I don't know in here because they did have some great tips um, about how to make the poly gel stay on and how to make it, you know, look neat. So this kit once again comes with everything you need, dual forms, gems and stones, the poly gel, paper forms. It came with a file, I think it's a 100-180 grit, and of course the pink picker and picker spatula brush tool, whatever you want to call it, that comes in every poly gel kit. But I love this one because it's pink and it's so sturdy, it feels good in the hands. Their poly gel brush tools are like amazing. Even the one that came in the last kit was beautiful. Y'all you know, look at this sugar um sparkle and then this pink glitter oh my gosh both of those were beautiful i ended up using the pink glitter and just wait till you see how it comes out so they come, of course it comes with the base and the top coat as well and then we are gonna swatch uh some of these poly gels out so you can see what they look like um like i said two are glow in the dark two are temperature change and two are really super sparkly So we take them out, you can see that the two color changes, it turns like a milky color. And the two that are glow in the dark, I will show you guys later because you really couldn't tell in the white. But so I picked the two sparkling ones and the two glow in the darks. And then I'm gonna use my McCart Clear to make a flower nail. And so I'm gonna get out of here and let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And shoot myself in the foot. I forgot to do my prep with my primer and dehydrator. I have already done my push back my cuticles and used my e file to get up all that. But I yeah, primer and dehydrator. Then I need to put on the base coat and cure that in the lamp so the nails will actually stick. This is part of the reason why people's nails sometimes pop off. Um, they don't get up all the dead skin with the e file. They don't do prep and primer, dehydrator, all of that. And then with the poly gel, you have to be careful not to put too much base coat on or it will make some of them pop off.
all I do with the poly gel is just put it in the dual form, pat it down to like where I think, you know, uh, how thick and long I want it. Um, I do it a little bit longer so I can practice shaping and filing, which I still suck at, but I'm working on it. And I also make sure to smooth under the bottom so it's not so clumpy as well. So that's why you'll see me flipping my nail over and like smoothing it out on the bottom.
Now we're gonna add some bling. So all I did was put on some like clear builder gel and then put some top coat on it and without curing, I placed my stones. Okay, so here is the finished look. For some reason, the glow in the dark will not show up on the camera, but it is my on my left hand, my pointer finger, and my pinky finger. So as soon as I get it to work, I'll upload. But thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.